Welcome back. Now it's time to set in all the eyelets for the vest piece. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start here at the back and I'm going to take my template we made in the underlayment and I'm just going to line it up with this piece and then I'm going to use a stylus. I'm just going to use the ballpoint end and wherever there's a hole just press down. So I'm just making small indentations into the leather. Make sure that's lined up. Uh, so that gives me an idea of where we're going to do all of the punching. Okay. So you might not be able to see that, but we've now got little impressions right into the leather. So that's where we're going to put all of the eyelets. Okay. Grab our next piece here. This is the front portions. And so I just, that's why I always keep these templates handy, keep them around. You know, don't pack them away. It's because I'll generally pull them back out for reference as I'm working on the project. Final piece. Okay. Now, I didn't like where this one is placed. So I'm just going to take my other side, line it up, look at the holes, try to line it up with that hole and make that impression. It just felt a little off. So that feels better. Okay. Yep. All right. So now that we've got all of these impressions, it's time to put our holes in. So I'm going to grab the poly mallet. And set up our pieces. Now I do want to grab the eyelets that we bought. So we'll grab those. All right, so we've got our eyelets here. I'm just going to pull out one and we're going to judge the size here. So we're looking for a size so that's too big. So we still want it to be a firm fit. All right, that'll be good. So where all of our eyelets are going to be, we're going to take our hole punch and go through, start punching. Now what I do with this is I will put the piece down, the hole punch, the mini hole punch, and make a slight indention to kind of see if I'm putting this where the impression will be in the middle of that hole there where they it's going to get uh, are going to strike and go through the leather so I'll just do that for each one 
Make sure we're good and centered up. And strike. And we will just do that all the way around and for all the pieces. Now I'm not too excited about where some of these eyelets are landing. Um, you know, they're going to be specifically this one here. It's going to be crossing over that border. I really would have rather it either all three be inside the brown or if this one was going to be there firmly in the middle of the border there. So that's just a bit of planning on my part that I didn't, you know, take into account. It is purely just kind of a aesthetic thing, but it's one of those things I always try to pay attention to if I can or if I'm you know, having the forethought. Obviously didn't quite go that way for this one. And in the future, if I do this project again, I'll really be cognizant of okay and that's it we've put all the holes in for the back piece and now we're going to put in some eyelets so we've got our eyelets had them over on the side there, I had to go grab them. Um, and they're just these, you know, little pieces of metal, you know, flanged out on one side, tapered on the other. And we're just gonna fit that into one of our holes so that the flange side is facing out uh, towards us. Now I went and actually got one of these um, tools. It's actually for fabric. I'm gonna feed this in. I'm gonna stick the two sides together and just press. And there we have it. We have an eyelet in. So it's just a good hole. And this will allow, you know, just adds a little bit of rigidity uh, to the laces and little. Uh, not rigidity, but um, reinforcement to the holes. And also on the outside, just gives it a nice a nice little look, a little flourish, if you will. And I'll just do that across all the pieces. Okay. Sorry, I had to go through a couple of these. My settings were a little bit wrong on this, so it was kind of busting... Uh, the ends of this whole project, or not the whole project, but the end of the eyelet. So I'm going to have to go and pause this. Looks like I'm going to have to get a tool to pull this one out. I'll just use a needle nose plier to pull this one out. It basically just kind of stripped one side of it. Um, kind of weird but I'll go ahead and do the rest of these so yeah a lot of times with eyelets and rivets and things like that you can just use a needle nose pliers and a bit of brute strength and pull stuff out all right again press and in it is I have to give this one a little bit more a little more oomph there it is. Awesome. So we'll just do these for all the rest. We'll do that to the front side as well. We're going to do these eyelets all the way down the front as well as the top area. It's going to go over the shoulder and the sides, which will be the sides here. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, also take out that one eyelet that kind of messed up. And we'll come back and I'll show you how we're going to lace it all together. All right. We'll see you then.